Dockwise presents the Gosfloat Moss CS50 Floatover Project. The Gosfloat Project includes a loadout operation of two different sections of a drilling rig at two distant locations. The first location is Vibor, located in Russia. The second location is Koji, in South Korea. As the transporter sails to Viborg, where it will load the hull structure of the drilling rig, the Black Marlin sets off on her voyage to South Korea. The fully integrated and almost completely commissioned topside will be loaded over Black Marlin's starboard side using a skid-on loading operation. The hydraulic skid shoes with stainless steel bottoms move over PTFE blocks, which are laid into steel skid tracks. While the Black Marlin was loading the superstructure of the offshore drilling rig, the transporter loaded the hull structure in Viborg and is on her route to Murmansk. The discharging operation starts with the ballasting of the transporter. Various monitoring and ballasting consoles keep a close eye on the operation. As the transporter is ballasted to a depth of 19 meters, the hull structure is slowly floated off the transporter deck. Having offloaded the hull, the transporter moves out from the offloading area. The next step is to anchor the hull structure to buoys that have been pre-installed. Safely fastened to the buoys and their anchors, the hull structure is ballasted to a depth of 27 meters. As the clearance between the ground and the hull structure is very limited, it is of the utmost importance that ballasting is performed according to strict procedures. Now that phase one of the discharge operation has been completed successfully, the dockwise crew on the Black Marlin can proceed with the next phase of the operation, mating the upper structure with the moored hull structure. Slowly, the Black Marlin, carrying its load of over 18,000 tons, is positioned over the hull structure. The clearance with the hull structure is a mere 100 millimeters, leaving no room for mistakes. When the superstructure is directly above the hull structure, the winches slowly pull the black marlin to a halt. Then, using its own ballast system, the substructure is deballasted. The hull structure lifts the superstructure another 70 centimeters, clearing the black marlin from its traveling friend. The Black Marlin eases out, staying clear of the structure. Finally, as a single unit, the offshore rig raises itself from the sea, illustrating the unique capabilities of Dockwise as a total marine supplier for float over and deck mating operations of heavy topsides. Dockwise, consider it done.